Hey there Weather Nerds, Matt here to show you a quick demo on the Time Height Section tool on Weather Nerds. So from the home page, click on Numerical Models, and that takes us to the GFS. I can see where we happen to be right when the 12Z run here is coming in. So let's jump back to the 6Z run for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to switch over to a moisture field, go with 600 millibars. And then I'll zoom in on my area of interest, which is South Florida for me. There we have our 600 millibar relative humidity look at South Florida. Now to make a time height section, you can see the time height section button here. But before we do this, we have to select a time on the map. And if you want, you can change the end hour. It defaults to seven days or 168 hours. But uh, so let's say we want to make a time height section for Miami. We can click the map right there on about the Miami area up to our button and click the get time height section button and it will generate a one week time height section for that location and what we see here is time on the x-axis and height or pressure on the vertical axis so in this case we can see we have dry mid-level air extending out through about four or five days and really through the entire uh, week here gets a little more moist towards the uh, end of the week and then in the contours we have a measure of stability which is the uh, the change in theta E versus pressure so the more negative that gets the more instability is present so you can see some pockets of decent instability and moisture here so you might expect some rain and thunderstorms this time so that demonstrates a point time height signing now you can also do this for area average so to go back to the zoom mode, I can either click this back to zoom mode button or press the M on the keyboard. It jumps back to the other mode. And if we want to do an area average version of this, we can just make a box on the map. Let's, uh, let's try to stick a little more to the peninsula like that. And then I can either, again, hit the buttons up here or another trick uh, is to just press the T key on the keyboard. So if I press T, it will generate an area averaged time height section. You can see in the reference diagram now it shows a little box where I drew that. And you can see it looks a little smoother when you do an area average. And that's expected. It looks kind of similar to our point version. Okay, if we press the M key to jump back out, we can zoom out. And there's other versions of this too, like if I switch to uh, vorticity, do the 850 see this low off the east coast let's go take a look at that zoom in on that so if I click here and then make a uh, time section let's say we only want 48 hours in this case we can make a uh, time height section at this location you can see our initial vorticity lobe here then something out a day and a half from now too at the surface comes by and uh, there's other fields we could plot as well. We could look at vertical velocity. Now if I pick any level, it will do a vertical time height section. So it doesn't matter what level I pick. You can see this plot then for vertical velocity. You can see about a day out, we have a uh, some rising air coming by. So if I jump back out, let's take a look at that more explicitly. Vertical velocity 700. Say we draw a box over this area of lift, and let's go back. Let's go. Well, let's go all the way out to the end. 384 hours, area average time section for that. You can see when you make when you make 384 hours, features start to look pretty narrow, but you can see little periodic bursts of lift and some small sinking areas as well that go by throughout the week. So now one last demonstration. If we switch back over to moisture, 600 millibars, and let's take a look at the North Atlantic view. What can be interesting is to do this for the main development region. So what we can do now is draw a box out here, kind of over our main development region for tropical cyclones. And then let's drop, how about 240 hours, we'll go out 10 days this time and make a area average time section for the main development region up through 10 days. See it's a little slower when you do a big area like that. But we can see pretty dry initially, it gets a little more moist here in the low to mid levels toward the end. 
but uh, this could be useful especially as we get into hurricane season to see what the uh, average conditions are looking like out in the MDR. So that's how you make time height sections on weather nerds and happy forecasting.